and welcome to another day of vlogmas. Obviously we have a main video here for you today rather than a normal vlog because I don't know, I love vlogging but I just feel like you guys are getting sick of having repetitive vlogs of me in the office or me just in the vlogs by myself. Even though this is a vlog by myself, I feel like it's more entertaining because I'm just actually talking about a specific subject rather than taking you along with me all day doing the same old stuff every single day. So today I am here to do the Christmas tag. I have my amazing Christmas choker on, I got my nails done today, it is all good. It is a great day and it is very Christmassy. I'm feeling so Christmassy. I have some Baileys in this cup right here, it's a Pusheen Mermaid cup. I have some Baileys with some ice. Mm. I found some Christmas questions or the Christmas tag questions online. It is called the Holly Jolly Christmas YouTube tag. So I thought I would give it a go and just answer some questions because I don't think I did this last year. I didn't do a very Christmassy themed December. So this is changing right now. I would be wearing antlers. I did think to wear them, but then I thought you can't even see them. So what's the point? <laughs> I've just got my choker on instead and my red nails. That's enough Christmas for one day and my sparkly lips. Um, so let's get going. The first question is favorite Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie is Elf. It will be my all time favorite Christmas movie forever. I love Will Farrell. I love Zoe Deschanel. They are the perfect pair in Elf. It's just the most Christmassy film for me ever. It's based in New York City, which is one of my favorite cities in the whole entire world. It's just so festive and it just keeps you entertained the whole way through. It's all so cheery and loving and it's all about what Christmas is about for me as well. I just, I love it so much. All the costumes and I just cannot get enough of it. Every single year I watch it and I love it just as much as a year before. It is my favourite Christmas movie, definitely. Are you on the naughty or the nice list? I like to think I'm on the nice list. I don't know why I'd be on the naughty list. I haven't done anything wrong this year. Please believe me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I'm a pretty nice person. I like to think so. So hopefully Santa has me on his nice list so I can get some presents this year. Please. Have you ever had a white Christmas? I'm pretty sure I have had a few white Christmases. Not fully white Christmases, um, but... I'm sure there have been a few in the past. I remember answering one last time when I said um, I was really young and I had to go to hospital the day after that we built a snowman in the snow on Christmas, but that wasn't Christmas. I got that completely wrong. That was another time around Christmas, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure, I do remember having snow on Christmas, but I think it's only been once or twice, if that. I I can't really remember. It hasn't been in the days that I can actually properly remember things, but it would have been when I was younger, I think. Don't hold me to that. It's definitely rained enough times, that's for sure. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? Mm, it depends. This year I did all of my shopping before Black Friday. Um, that's Now that's a thing in this country, it never used to be a thing in this country, but now it's come up over the last few years. Um, I do all my Christmas shopping usually before that time um, because I like to get it all done, I like to wrap everything so that I don't need to worry about going into town in December when it is packed full of people. That is the worst decision you could ever make by going to the shops on a weekend in December. Just don't do it. It's the worst thing that you could possibly do. It's, um, it's rammed, the shops are full of queues, you don't get anything in the shops. Just do your shopping online if, you are that, if you're running that late in the Christmas holidays with all your present buying and everything, but I try and get mine done in November or the beginning of December if I have to, just because I like to get it all done and I like to be as organised as I possibly can with all my wrapping and Christmas cards written and everything, just so that I can actually relax in December rather than having to stress out about having to get someone a present that I could have got in November. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? One, I don't know, this Christmas movie just popped into my head, but I kind of want to be in the holiday, not for the scenario, but to be able to live in that cottage that, um, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Kate, Wins Kate Winslet? Yeah, I'd love to be in the cottage that Kate Winslet lives in when she switches houses with Cameron Diaz in uh, America and in the Cotswolds or something. I don't know where she actually is, but that cottage that she lives in is so amazing and it snows and I would love to just be there. I know it's a bit of a random Christmas movie to be in, but I wouldn't, 
I didn't want to choose Elf because I chose that as my favourite film. I'd say The Holiday just because it's a bit of a different film because it's just a, the film that popped into my head and just thinking of that cottage right now I would love to be there in front of the roaring fire with a doggy. Name all of Santa's reindeer. Oh god this is gonna be fun. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid. Oh there are two more aren't there? Comet, Cupid, Donna and... Wait, did I say that? I can't remember! So one rhymes with Vixen. Glitzen. I'm not saying Rudolph because he wasn't in the original lineup of Reindeer, so I'm not just missing him out because I forgot him, don't worry. So, the traditional one. I'm looking on Wikipedia, this better be right. Okay, here we go. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen. Blitzen! I missed Blitzen out. That's the only one. I'm, I think I did pretty well. When does your family put up your Christmas trees and who decorates it? Christmas trees? I mean Christmas tree, unless you want millions of trees. If you have a massive house. Anyway. Um, well, me and my family put our Christmas decorations up the weekend just gone. It kind of just all depends on when I can come home. Last time, or last year, it was a bit earlier than this. But it's usually the first or second week of December. Obviously we did it on the 10th of December. Um, and I decorate the tree, the main tree. I also do the little ones around the house as well. They're just the ones we've had for years. Um, I do those ones and my mum puts the lights on the tree but I do all the rest of it. So I'm always the one to decorate the tree. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's gotta be real apart from, well, this one is fake. But I only think of the family home one, and that one has always been real. It'll always be real. And one day when I own my own home, my tree will be real. Peeking at gifts or be surprised? I like to be surprised. I like surprises. I hate peeking in the gifts. I hate peeking at all the gifts. I just think it just ruins a surprise for yourself. You're just gonna know everything you're gonna be getting for Christmas. Why would you do that to yourself? If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Craig Owens. Google him if you don't know who he is. Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? No, we don't have a special recipe at all. I like to just make things myself. Like I'm, I want to experiment by making mince pies myself this year. And I want to do some eggnog recipes myself. I want to do some other Christmassy recipes myself. I want to actually make my own homemade Baileys. Uh, I don't know how, I think it's pretty easy, but I need to buy some whiskey and stuff and, and um, things like that and cream and whatever else goes in homemade baileys um but yeah we don't have any specific recipes that we make like a family recipe or anything are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably i'd like to say i'm pretty good i've definitely gotten better over the years i used to be awful just i don't know i just didn't get much practice but now i love having all the ribbons curly bits on them and the massive stars you put on the paper uh, on the on the paper <laughs> I like all the ribbons you put on the paper, all the stars, all the um, all the bits and bobs you can get from craft shops, like little trees and um, just nice named, uh, nice tags and things like that. It's always good. I love going all out with my, my present wrapping because, um, yeah, I just like making all my presents look as pretty as possible. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Yes, I have. I used to be in brownies and we went Christmas caroling one year all up and down near where I used to live. And it was really, really fun. People really enjoyed it and people actually opened their doors. I don't know if they would anymore, really. I think people are kind of sick of things like that, unless you're really in the holiday spirit, which I hope people are. I'd like some Christmas carolers at my door. That would be nice. I'd get very festive from listening to carolers singing away in a manger or something like that. <laughs> What tops your tree? A star! Always a star. We used to have a fairy in the family home, but that has retired now because it's very old. So we have a star. And I also have a star on my tree as well, not that you can see it, but if you look back in a video a few days ago, uh, my star got delivered halfway through a video. So yeah, I just have a star on the top of my tree. It's pretty! Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? My New Year's resolutions are always the same, it's just like, be a better you in 2000 and whatever. I don't, I haven't even thought of one yet, but I guess just be happy and healthy, that's... I don't like trying to make huge resolutions for myself that I'm just not going to keep to, because there's just no point, because you know you're going to fail before you even started. Um, but I just, yeah, just be happy and healthy for 2018, that's what people write in their Christmas cards as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't have any specific resolutions, I just want to be happy and healthy with all my family and friends being happy and healthy too, because that's just an easy one to wish for, I think. 
And the last question. You have been granted one Christmas wish, what is it? Now I have to think about this because there are so many things that I would wish for right now. Let, let me just think. What would it be? My wish is that I hope to achieve even better things next year. This year has been an amazing year full of achievements for myself, but I just want to keep getting better and better at everything. So that's the only wish I can think of right now that's not too specific to anything. But yeah, my wish is to achieve more and more things next year, which I hope I will do. Anyway, that is it guys. I have answered the Christmas tag questions. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll, I will be back again tomorrow for another video for you. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I love you all very much and I will see you all again soon. Bye. Christmas tag questions. Oh, my babies. Oh, my babies. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now that I've just thought about it, this. Now I've just thought of. Now that I've just thought about this. <laughs> Comet and Cupid and Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and. I'm sorry, I've forgotten the last one. Come on. You have been granted one Christmas. Sh Christmas. <laughs> My wish is to just to is to just <laughs> oh my god.